What's up everybody? So, got a little bit different type of video this week. Uh, sorry if I missed anybody's comments throughout the week. Been super sick the past couple days. Uh, but this first clip, um, just trying to get a quick Baron steal here and shout out to Super Six over there, just tanking the whole team. Uh, as soon as I, as soon as he ran in here, I was kind of just invisible to everybody, and gave me enough time to to get the kill. Uh, neither one of us got away, but it's probably worth it. Uh, this next clip, uh, just gonna do a little bit of a group fight clip. Um, Mix some of these in with some of my normal 1vx type clips uh, just because I'm getting more and more people complaining lately about just different random crap. They, they think I'm just beating up on bad players or they think I'm only beating up on people because I have higher gear score. I guess it's always something for some people but I don't know it is what it is. Uh, we accidentally biobomb right into the guy's maelstrom like an idiot. but. After we get him down, uh, kind of just go up here to try and clear off the ramparts. Uh, and sorry if I have any just long pauses here. I don't want to be clearing my throat in anybody's ear or anything. Uh, and I normally try to do all this in one take, but uh, I actually just recorded the audio or the commentary for this entire video, and then realized I had my microphone muted. So here we go again. Uh, this next clip. Uh, pretty much only inc uh, including this, just because the ending was really funny to me. Uh, take the first two bases, and I think we're working our way down here to star. Just trying to get some kills along the way. Uh, but all of a sudden it seems like my team got distracted by something, and I'm kind of up here fighting by myself, but it is what it is. Uh, trying to prioritize the healer first, because I'm never going to be able to kill a bruiser if he's just still getting healed up the whole time. But as soon as more people start coming out here, like, I'm just pretty sure I'm already screwed. But try to do what I can to just get away, but it's just not happening. Uh, but I don't know if these guys knew each other, but the synchronized teabag just had me fucking dying. But uh, anyway, this next clip uh, is from the beginning of a different match, so team got their butt kicked at mid, but managed to escape, so I'm trying to work my way up here to moon and get it before anybody else does. Uh, I had a feeling this guy was going to try and turn around and chase me, and I probably could have dodged the downward swing there, but I kind of wanted to really prioritize just killing him as fast as possible because this musket was already shooting at me, and I wanted to be able to get behind cover as quick as I could just to be able to deal with this guy. Uh, but after we get him down, continue forward in the moon. And this guy had just barely started capping it when I got here. Uh, skip forward a little bit because I missed my first javelin. And after that I was just kind of chasing him like an idiot. Because he's light armor and I had like no CC left. Uh, but after we burn him down here. Oh, it's the great sword from the hill again. Uh, we hit him with the javelin. But he has grit from crosscut. Uh, so we don't get the knockdown, but he still is 40% rendered, so still burn him down pretty quick. And I'm thinking this musket's gonna try and come in here, but apparently he doesn't want those problems, so she just left. Uh, peek inside the base here, thinking I'm gonna back cap, and there's like half the team in there. So, start our journey back to mid. And while we're on the way here... Uh, instead of editing this part out, I figured I'd take a second to explain why some clips I'm running perforate and some I'm running cyclone. Uh, the cyclone clips is my normal build from my last few build guides, nothing changed there. Uh, I was running that on the games I played on Saturday. And then Sunday, the day I'm recording this, uh, I was given perforate another chance. So I flashed up the, the skill tree difference uh, between my normal build and the perforate build and uh, the only other things I changed were the gloves instead of leeching cyclone I have fortifying perforate and the hatchet I actually changed a little bit just because I wanted to see uh, what refreshing torrent felt like instead of uh, exhausted exploitation and if you're wondering why it's 695 gear score because out of the three houses I have none of them have the engineering buff and every time I tried to go cap the Morningdale fort 
I uh, just got overrun by range players, so I just said screw it. I'll just use the 695. Uh, we were able to burn down one guy <clears throat> uh, out of the group of people chasing us there at the beginning. But we get the second guy close there here in the next wave. But I don't have uh, Defy Death anymore, and they have a healer now, so it's not worth uh, sticking in the clump trying to get him. And the reason I torrent through everybody there is to try and make them waste as many abilities as possible and to get my 20% haste. Uh, if you're wondering why I just skipped ahead here, uh, this is still the ch same chase. Uh, they've been chasing me the whole way from Moon to Star, the whole way back up to Baron. I even stopped mid-chase to message the team with some time left and say, Hey, I'm heading Baron, I'm gonna need help. And somehow I still beat everybody here. But, I guess we do a little 1v6. Uh, priority 1 is just try and live uh, in case they get Baron low. I have a chance of stealing it. Uh, but other than that, try to get a pick. Uh, we get a teammate in here eventually. Uh, luckily it's a healer. Uh, and I made a mistake here. I didn't realize he was a healer at first, and that was a friendly sacred on the ground, or I would have stayed there for a second. Uh, but he saves me anyway with just a huge burst heal. Um, I try to save my Raging Torrent for when the Baron's close to dead, because it's my highest DPS. But I had to get hard CC'd right at the end there, so... We'll never know if I would have got it, but it would have been close. Uh, but... This is how the chase finally ends, after all that time. Uh, this next clip, back to more 1vx style normal clip for me. Uh, if you're wondering why this first guy behind me is already almost dead, it's because I was fighting for a little bit, but he just kept running, and I got tired of getting shot at by the fire staff while I was chasing this guy, so I just went back to the door. Uh, but now that he has a third teammate here and the bear, I guess he feels safe to kind of fight again, kind of still just run around. It is what it is. Uh, the bear is kind of annoying when you don't have a berserk up, but he is just a crap load of free life stealing and he really doesn't hurt that bad. So, kind of counterintuitive, but it's kind of lucky that the bear's here almost. Uh, but we finally put one of the three down and we start to get this uh, guy low here as well, uh, but we're also running out of free bear lifesteal since the stupid bear is almost dead. Uh, we get the second one down and bear actually bites us in the ass this time. He body blocked my javelin. Uh, but I kind of want to save uh, javelin when it comes off cooldown here again. I don't want to just chuck it. I want to make sure this guy's not about to dodge. Uh, so I think I got the 1v1 here. I should be able to land the combo on him. But here comes a bow, and here comes two more people, and next thing you know, it's like 5v1. And I don't know what the hell that desync lag was, but that basically cost me any chance I had of, uh, of getting the mage there. Uh, this guy was so happy with my playstyle and the fact that he got just comboed like this that he sent me a very delightful message. Uh, but... Anyway, just throwing another group fight kind of clip in here, just because for some reason some people will say that's what they'd rather see. Uh, but we burn this guy down, and I see this guy kind of low, so I'm like, oh, just steal a kill. Easy. Group fights. Uh, but me and one other guy managed to take Baron in this match. Team's getting their butts kicked anyway, but we managed to get Baron. Uh, so I'm on my way back to mid, just trying to stop whoever was here from getting it. Uh, but there's quite a few people outside. Managed to burn one down. But this bow misses every shot, and then triple rolls when I'm just throwing nothing at him. So for the people in the comments that like to say I'm just beating up on bad people, that's the difference. That's a player that needs more practice versus the people I'm normally fighting. But anyway... Uh, I probably should just keep running here and try and escape, especially seeing all those people coming down here, but I kind of feel like I could get this guy if I hit him with a full combo, and it's just barely not enough anyway, so I don't get the kill, and I get punished for sticking around, because there's just 12 people looking at me. Uh, 
I don't know how you say this guy's name, Demon Forcer. Uh, I was fighting this guy for a while, just kind of 1v1 back and forth. Uh, neither one of us were really getting the better of each other, but he's definitely a good player. Uh, so anytime somebody else kind of stepped in here, I just made it a priority to go after them first, because I already know just me and him are a way more even fight. So there's a very good chance I'm going to have a lot easier time taking down whoever else is in here. Uh, but they almost get me here. Uh, but with Defy Death, I managed to, uh, I guess I didn't even use Defy Death yet. There, there it goes. That's what I was thinking of. Uh, but the teammate, uh, saves me right as my Defy Death kicks in. Uh, I peek out here, see if he's still in range, but there's a stupid bow down the road, so I figure I might as well just go inside, heal up, and, uh, try to capture the fort anyway. But for some reason, he tries to, uh, come back in without healing up first. So, he definitely deserved the kill, but no happy ending for him. Here, I've got like three people chasing me, all range players. Uh, this is one of them scenarios where I'll get a message like, Oh, just keep running, pussy. It's like, I don't know what you expect me to do. Like, I'm double melee. But, anyway. Uh, we escape for a little bit here. Uh, just kind of trying to break them up a little bit. See if I can at least get like just one or two of them at a time. And we get basically a full combo on this guy here. So as soon as I get him low, I'm like, I pretty much have to just ignore the other guy. Make sure this guy dies. But now I can focus this guy. And when I finally am focusing him, I see his name and realize, oh. This is dickhead that was teabagging me earlier, even though I didn't see him throughout the entire fight, so... I want to make sure I focus him first, just cause... Uh, we get him down, but there's just more people showing up, and stupid wraith. Can't make it happen. Uh, this last clip, uh, kinda just working on back capping here, but got some teammates around. Pretty much just using the door to reset my cooldowns and pull people down. But if you made it this far in the video and you actually enjoyed, uh, consider leaving a like. i greatly appreciate it and it turns out it actually does help quite a bit. Uh, but we burned down the greatsword there pretty quickly. Uh, normally I would skip ahead here but I kind of wanted to just show how little this stupid magma thing does damage wise. Less than 500 a tick for like 8 ticks I think it was. Something like that. So they're losing 900 to 200. And they have people wasting time building crap like that. I don't know. The whole PvE thing is just kind of annoying. But at least they're nerfing doors next season. It's a start. Uh, burn this guy down. And we get super low. But we manage to live here. It's kind of boring after that. So I figure this is a good place to end it here. Uh, thank you for watching if you made it this far, and I'll see you in Outpost Rush.